Hey guys, it's Nazreen here and welcome to another video. So today, I'm gonna talk about marketing funnels and we're gonna build a marketing funnel for specifically real estate agents. Okay, so my real estate friends, you guys are in it for a treat. Okay, the reason why I'm doing this today is because um, it is for the benefit of real estate agents out there. My, my friends who are actually, you know, having um, that as your own career. I, I really admire what you guys do because self-employed is not easy. Something that you require, uh, you know, leads every month. Uh, you need to close a certain deals every month. So it's tough. I mean, the industry is tough out there. But, you know, perseverance is key. And, and this is something I really like and adore and, and envy you guys. So, um... And also one frustrating thing is that, you know, I've been uh, receiving a lot of flyers, you know, those hard copy, uh, you know, adverts uh, through my post box or even the gates, you know, they, this is really frustrating when they actually put in and slid in their, their, their brochures in, in, in my gates and I don't like it. I mean, I stay in, 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 in past series and, you know, that area is, is really hot in terms of selling uh, houses because it's really MOP is really you know have that eligibility to sell so but so I'm creating this to actually uh, create awareness for real estate agents out there use the online space I mean it's not limited to things like uh, WordPress or click funnels or Squarespace today I'm going to show you how you can do this with Mulakan okay and it's very simple and easy the concept it's pretty much straightforward because people connect to you through a certain medium and this is the medium which you want to collect leads and then you can actually nurture those leads so that they can know you they can like you and they can trust you uh, through the process I'm going to show you right now the first and the first step will be landing page that means they will come to a landing page you can actually send ads over here you don't send ads to website please take note you send ads to a landing page a landing page is where you will introduce yourself you will share your uh, the reasons why one should actually engage you as an agent and then share some uh, testimonials uh, some proof some credibility some awards that you have won and then lastly have a call to action to book a call or book a session with you so that comes into the second um, second stage second step okay have an opt-in and a booking appointment form so this is a very systematic way number one to generate your leads number two to book an appointment because you know it's it's fair enough uh, to um, calculate where your leads come from if whoever goes through this appointment booking form you know your leads come from online so you know your book your your marketing efforts online can be tracked and then you can see how much conversion um, you, you can do through marketing funnel then after that you send them to a taking page once you uh, they have actually book a, a form uh, book a session or a consultation uh, with you so a thank you page can be uh, a page which you can actually send them to you know like your Instagram follow you or even WhatsApp you if they want to casually connect so booking an appointment means that means you will need to speak with them and then you know they can actually allocate a time but if let's say you were to put a whatsapp number which they can connect they can just uh, talk to you at least you know you can pre uh, have pre-conversation before uh, the real appointment okay because there's so much you can do in a whatsapp you still need to talk to them or even meet them depending on how you want to make the arrangement for this appointment okay so let's begin this is probably how the landing page will look like okay it's it's still raw and it's nothing much it's just some basic template that I've created so like I said the first part will introduce yourself there just imagine this real estate agent uh, is named Sarah okay and then uh, Sarah you know create uh, a, a, her own tagline you know real estate agent likes to have their own tagline so you need to have a tagline or something that spark curiosity because you know you want to sell your house and you need someone to do that so if you spark curiosity you create anxiety or not create anxiety you create something uh, that make them want to know more just put it in your headline and then have some introduction about uh, how you can help them this is the first thing that they see this is called hero banner and uh, you can put smiley pictures of you it gives you that impression that you are a real person so yeah uh, second section will be probably something about you something about the awards that you've won so like i said this is just a simple landing page there's no um you know reasons why you should they should book you and there's no testimonial that should book you so let's do it right now so 
All right, so let's add another block. And this block is a section in which you can add, uh, you know, anything. So let's block and there's a series of, uh, as a dozen of templates that you can actually use. Um, let's choose image and text. So you want things to probably have pictures and text. So we can choose something like, maybe we can use um, like this, okay? So over here, as you scroll down, you can see image and then text, okay? And then uh, let's just imagine this is some image of you closing your clients and then you can put over here, um, um, seven years experience in real estate. Okay, just put it as an example and then these are more information and then this is your picture and then let's just add another block and then uh, because over here you see the image was on the left the text is on the right so let's have uh, the image on the right and image on the and text on the left it is because when people browse websites or landing pages they do in zigzag format especially in desktop for mobile you know everything's in scroll right so yeah let's control that you add another block find a template in which they have image on the right so let's look for it yeah we have this we can also look for others maybe we can yeah we can do this as well so over here you, there's also more a, a catchy headline you can put uh, mm, satisfied um, not satisfied clients uh, because this is still about why they should engage you um, um, fast and efficient um, response rate okay <laughs> and then you can add more uh, to sell yourself because in the end of the day this is like an online resume and of course the pictures and how you know you are in action okay and then that's about it you have two sections and imagine you can duplicate these two sections again and again and uh, you know sell them and then the next one you want to do testimonials because we have testimonial section you can actually you know put all your satisfied clients over here it can be in terms of screenshots it can also in terms of like uh you know like a write-up so something like this what customers are saying so uh, maybe over here um satisfied client satisfied clients um maybe you need put numbers uh, maybe two thousand plus satisfied clients so wow people will see <laughs> and then people will you know tend to engage you through you know the series of satisfied clients of course you're not going to put all 2000 clients testimonial over here but just uh, i mean if you want to do a duplication you just click on copy and then over here you will put the copied section and the clipboard and then you just click this container and just drag it and you just, you have another a row of a testimonial you can actually play around with the height and then you can duplicate this again and again and again until cow come home okay all right so we have two sections and then you know the purpose of actually a landing page is to push them to a call to action so over here there's a call to action really book a consultation book a consultation you want to slap call to action everywhere inside your landing page as much as you can but of course not to be too spammy so I'm gonna do the same. I'm gonna put this button, copy the widget. I'm gonna paste it uh, maybe below here. Okay. Oh, this is a. Uh, okay, no, I have to create a section. Okay, this is an empty section. I'm gonna create. I'm gonna push it down here. Okay, so as you can see, you need to follow the green indicator line to know where to actually paste it. So make sure it's in horizontal. If you put it under vertical, it will be align and float left or float right so always put in the middle okay, you can see over here and as you can see there's no not much um, you know room to breathe so on the widget you can always put spacer put it below okay so you have book consultation so this is just an example of how you want to push people to book a cons consultation with you so let's save this and then we are done with the landing page so just imagine this is your landing page so now how to actually create funnels you need to go to this funnel tab over here on the left okay right now there's only one one page which is a landing page so remember we have three steps right we have two more steps to go so the middle step is where you collect your opt-in in your booking form together usually traditionally people actually push me to a page but my style i'm gonna do a pop-up so let's do this 
together. So yes, uh, you can actually choose many kind of uh, uh, concept. You can also have some uh, promotion, informational. I even have a checkout. So I'm gonna I'm gonna do an empty pop up. This is a custom real estate booking platform pop up. So there's nothing. So I want a pop up to be a whole pitch pop up, not just a small tiny pop up. Because you want to book a appointment, you can't book appointment through a small pop up. So go to pop up setting, change it to full screen, okay, and then just name this pop up as opt in booking form, okay. You can change the animation to I don't know, it can be fit and skill, it can be fit from the right. Or anything okay just leave it as it is and then make sure you save so there's nothing over here but of course you want to put elements inside the pop-up right so first and foremost you put some you know header tag um, book a free consultation with Sarah the uh, number one real estate uh, agent in let's say <laughs> Singapore uh, I don't know you cannot make claims right from what I understand because I've, I've been to the course uh, you can't make claims but uh, I mean you, you need to check what kind of uh, you know text uh, that you like to use in your website and then this is your probably the headline and I'm gonna bold make it more strong and then you're gonna add Booking, sorry, click on this plus. You have this lead generation booking, paste it here below. So right now you don't have any booking event. Okay, how to create a booking event? Let me show you right now. So click on new, create new booking event. Okay, of course you need to save first to avoid any, you know, um, thing that is being overwrite. So right now your, your, your funnel have two, two steps. Okay, now we're gonna create the form, the booking form. Over here, you see appointments, right? Click on it. Okay, you need to create a booking event. So just name it, um, I don't know, opt-in booking form. Okay, click next. Okay, create an operator. Operator is someone who is managing, who is doing the, uh, the form. So I have this Sally, let's create the one operator. This is Sarah. Let's just put your own email, which is whatever. Maybe in this demo, I'll just put sarah at gmail.com. And you can have a description, you can have a good image, even this own image I can put Sarah face over here. Then you can also sync your Google Calendar. That's good. You save and then make sure you add Sarah here. So Sarah is one of the operators. If you are a team, you can actually create a list of operators or maybe your agents. And then people can actually choose who they want to speak with. So you need to link a service. What kind of service is Sarah providing? So a consultation, right? So over here, I actually created a 30 minute consultation. You can create new service, maybe um, audit, real estate audit. Okay, and then uh, you can describe what is it about. And then this will be one-to-one. -one. You can also do group, but I think in, in real estate context, you do one-to-one. -one. You can set the timing. Maybe this is 45 minutes. Then uh, you can also add image if you want to. You save, and then you make sure you link to the service that Sarah provides. So you click on add. So right now Sarah provides real estate audit. And then that's it. Okay. If you have a team, you can do this. You can click this uh, option, assign the operators automatically. All right. So click next, and then when you click next, this is the availability section. You can actually set whether you are available for the next two weeks or next three weeks or next four weeks up to you you can also put indefinitely so that means you will be available all the way and then you can actually set whether you are available every day monday to friday saturday sunday weekends or a specific day based on your schedule okay and you know you can set it over here you can exclude some days you know and in case you are on vacation or something like that and then you can also set the increments how many minutes uh, you know from each time within this uh, period and then you can also set scheduling notice to avoid last minute bookings. Yeah? Like, let's say you want to talk to him in the next hour, cannot because the schedule notice needs to be at least a certain hours before you can book an appointment. Let's say it's four hours. You can have buffer, you can also you know, select no buffer and then 
yeah, you can also sit, select, limit the number of sessions per day, but you don't want to do that because you want as much, um, you know, session, right? So click next. And then this is a form of question uh, that you will be asking on top of them booking a platform, booking appointment with you. So, you know, my take is not only take their name and email, probably you want to ask more. For example, where do they stay? Or if that is a bit sensitive, you can ask what is their query about? So this select, okay, let me repeat that again. Eh? This select drop down is a field where you, which you can actually ask them what is their what what are they going to talk about is it they're going to talk about i want to sell my house then the next line will be i want to look for a resale flat and then uh, third one maybe i want to upgrade to condo and so on and so this is just an example so i'm gonna just uh, click out and then save so we have three fields name email and yeah inquiry so Instead of select, maybe we'll put uh, uh, what are you looking for? Okay, then save. So click next. So this is confirmation. For now, let's leave it to uh, default confirmation message because we will come back here and then we will do a custom page. So I'm gonna save changes over here. Okay, so the next thing is going back to the opt-in booking form. Alright, so this is the pop-up they have created. We need to add the booking form. So we go back to add widget and then we choose a booking widget, paste it over here. So they will ask for the booking event. So we just created the opt-in booking form, which we selected, and then the rest um, it's you know you can actually change the layout. Maybe you can do like this, you can also change it to like this or like this whichever you like there are four types of layout which can you know um, you can use all right so uh, you can also change the general font the heady font and so on so as to be consistent in your branding okay okay all right so um yeah let's leave it as it is and then it's save of course uh, if you want to do a little bit of styling you can click this brush icon and then uh, back background color let's just put some opacity light opacity at least you can see the background yeah maybe like that 80 click out save and we are done with the second step so now to the final step of the funnel the thank you page so we add new step add a page and we have a thank you category over here so i'm gonna click a simple i'm gonna use a simple template maybe like Yeah, like this. Yeah, I'll just name this. Thank you. If people have opt-in, you need to tag them. Okay. So, uh, you can change all these things, uh, of course. And uh, this one, you can just remove. There's no need for a footer in uh, the funnel. So, mm, change this to, hey, thank you. I mean, just thank you for booking, uh, for your booking. Thank you for your, uh, no, thank you for booking a slot um, I will be in touch with you very soon okay. so that's about it and uh, probably you want to actually have so a button that you know to, to connect them through whatsapp or to connect them through um, your facebook group or facebook page if you have any then all you need to do is to create a button or if you have a button, oh never mind, it's okay. A button over here, then uh, follow me in let's say Instagram because that's where your promotional activities is. Instagram, and then uh, you can put your Instagram link over here. All right. So imagine it's a link. Then select, and then of course you might want to space, and that's about it. And you have a thank you page. And if you want to put some, uh, you know, padding for the top and bottom, you can do so. So it looks like, a, um, you know, a full page, <laughs> right? Okay. So now we have a landing page. We have a booking form. We have a thank you page. So in the middle over here, remember we have 
a booking right remember to make you edit a booking okay edit the booking in terms of when you finish the confirmation right it goes to a custom page so this custom page is a funnel thank you page okay so you see the flow is from the landing page to the opt-in pop-up and then to a thank you page so once they have booked their, their slot it will be directed to a thank you page and then save changes and that's it the funnel based on our glue map works and you know as much as you want to optimize this you need to see how you can improve in your uh, copy in your messaging in your image to see what you want to include or what you want to exclude and then you know you can run traffic over here you can run facebook ads google ads pinterest ads tiktok linkedin everything and then just get them to see this landing page and then in return they will be clicking to book a consultation with you okay so this will be a preview of how this will be look like okay so this is your landing page okay people scroll you will see your details your testimonial and then when you click book a consultation it will be a booking form okay this booking form they can choose which timing which you have set which date then once they do that it will be a pop-up another pop-up another step asking for name email and then what are you looking for to be a drop down i want to look for resale flat and all these things let's say i want to upgrade the condo and book appointment let's just say i put nas and then nas at gmail.com is my email book an appointment then you will go to a thank you page okay so in the back end once you had received someone who actually booked your email number one you receive an email number two you need to check under context this is the CRM okay you can actually check I mean walk through the video over here so the CRM there you go NAS this is uh, created on the October 5th which is today and then uh, if let's say you have a list of people who book a call with you then you have a system that collects all these leads and then you can actually nurture them you can also connect them to email marketing if you want to. In this email marketing, you can actually create a list of people who actually inquire on your services. You can keep selling them through many means, maybe a new launch that you have and so on. So yeah, that's the powerful of a marketing funnel for real estate. And these things, these are just three things that you need to have. You don't need a website. For, I mean, to be honest, you do need a website, but you know, a funnel is, is more lead centric that means you will get immediate response in your uh, lead generation campaign you will get more results in terms of uh, how the client is going to find you all you need to do is to go online get yourself online buy a domain get mulakan and you know i'm not pushing you to actually subscribe to mulakan but at the end of the day this thing helps you to grow your presence online okay so i'm gonna use i'm gonna put a template this template in the description below when you click it you can actually take this template and use it on your own that means you have a funnel of your own okay that means uh, you can actually use even you can even use mulakan's domain name to promote this and you'll see how things goes how you collect your leads and so on and then you can also try our 14 day trial to see if you want to create websites and so on by all means and then if you have any questions feel free to, to drop me a message or comment down below and if you are new here, please consider subscribing and uh, appreciate the like button because it's free. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next video. Maybe we can talk about websites for real estates. Okay, till then, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.